All right, so we have another question, which is our last question in the tutorial sheet. It says, determine whether the vectors U, V and W lie on the same plane. So for, for this one, um, if you want to know whether these uh, vectors lie on the same plane, there is just, um, there is just one uh, simple formula that you need to understand. So if let's say, for instance, you have two vectors, uh, I mean, three vectors, A, uh, B and C. If these three vectors lie on the same plane, what that means, it means that A dot B cross C is supposed to give you what? A zero. So A dot B cross C should give you what? A zero. That's what it means. All right, so let us uh, write this in terms of U, V, and W. So we have these three vectors, and then we, we've been given there's U there, V, and W. So what you have to understand is that U dot V cross W uh, should, give you, should give you what? Zero. Yeah, so according to board mass, we have to start with what is in the brackets, meaning we first have to find what V cross W is. So V cross W, <coughs> like I said, you write I, J, and K. And then from there, you're going to have um, your V and your W uh, written uh, in this um, matrix. So my V is five, the coefficients of um, V, the components of V, we have five, negative two, and negative one. And W has three, uh, four and negative three. So this is what we have. So let's find the cross product here. So the cross product, like I'm just from explaining, you say I, and then you write the minor, the minor matrices. So when you cancel this and that, the remaining part there is negative two, negative one, four, negative three. Then we say minus J, open brackets. We cancel this and that, the remaining part is, um, is simply, uh, five, three, negative one, negative three. And then for K there, we have plus K. We do the same, we cancel this and that for K as well. So we remain with um, five, negative two, four, three. So we find the, we find the, the, what is the determinants there. So we have I, and then here we have negative two and negative three when multiplied, you're going to get positive six minus negative four. So we have positive six minus negative four. That will give us positive four there. Then we have negative J outside. And then we have five times negative three. The answer is negative 15. So we have negative 15 there minus negative three. We have positive three. And then we have plus K open brackets. So we have five times four. The answer is 20. 20 minus six minus negative six. We have 20 plus six. So from there, we just simplify this part. So we have six plus four, this will give us 10 I. Then we have uh, negative 15 times three, uh, rather plus three, it will give us negative 12 times uh, negative J. We have positive uh, 12 J. And then this part will give us uh, plus 26 K. So this is the vector uh, representing what? V uh, cross W. So from there, the other thing that we need to do is to find the dot product of what we have found and u. So if the answer is going to be zero, then we know to say the three vectors are lying on the same plane. But if the answer is not going to be zero, then the three vectors do not lie on the same plane. So now let us find our u um, dot v cross w. So this is going to give us, so we have 10, uh, first let me write u. So our u is negative two i, then we have positive four j negative k. So we're dotting this with uh, 10 i plus 12 j plus 26 uh, k. So we find the dot product of these two vectors. We multiply the corresponding uh, terms, so we have a negative two and negative 10, when we multiply these two, we're getting what? We're getting, okay, in short, you just do the multiplication, the way you know, the, the way you do the, the, the way we multiply um, 
uh, just normal numbers. But what you should put in mind is that the dot product of two same unit vectors gives you one, and then the dot product of uh, two different unit vectors, for instance, i times k gives you what? Zero. Okay. So I think I forgot to tell you the same uh, when it comes to the cross product. Anyone will explain it at the end of uh, this session. All right. So from there, we, uh, oh, what this means is that we multiply the corresponding or the same unit vectors or the terms that have the same unit vectors because there, there, there will be no use for, for us to multiply, uh, to multiply the, the, what is the terms that have different unit vectors because once you find i times k or i times j or j times i, the answer will be zero. So meaning there's no need of us doing that. So we just multiply negative two i and uh, positive 10 there, we get negative 20. And then four times uh, 12, yeah, four times 12, that will give us what? Uh, positive 48. And then we have negative K times uh, 26 there, or oh, rather negative one times 26, we have negative uh, 26. So let us add this and see what we're going to get. Okay. So negative 20 and 48, this will give us what? 28. And then we have negative 26. So when you, uh, rather when you sub subtract this, you're getting two as the answer. So <coughs> this is telling us that the three vectors are not in the, uh, 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 do not lie on the same plane. And if all the multiplications that we have done are correct, and this is the answer that you have found, it means that if we have not made any mistake from, um, uh, I mean, in multiplying, in finding the cross product or in dotting, if the, I mean, the procedure is okay, but if uh, the, our dotting and our multiplying of numbers was just okay, then it tells us to say uh, the three vectors are not, in, I mean, are not lying on the same plane. Yeah, they do not lie on the same plane because of what we have found. So if the answer was zero, we would have concluded that, um, the three vectors u, v, and w, uh, they are lying on the same what? On the same plane. All right, so I said, I'm going to show you about the cross product. So the cross product, you follow this. Yeah, so you have i, you have j, you have k. So what this means is that if I uh, cross a, if I cross, um, if I cross i times j, i times j, the answer will be what? So i cross, um, sorry, i cross j, the answer will be k. Then j cross k, j cross k, the answer will be i. Then k cross, um, k cross uh, i, the answer will be what? To be j. But when we start going in the opposite direction, the answers will, will begin to, to have negatives. So what that means is that I times I cross A, uh, rather I cross K. So I cross K, the answer is negative J. K cross J, K cross J. The answer is um, negative I. And then J cross I j sorry j cross i the answer is um negative k that's what it means okay so this is what i wanted to show you all right for the dot product i explained i said any uh, any dotting of two same unit vectors gives you one yeah, so meaning j dot j gives you one k, oh sorry, k dot k gives you one. But anything that is uh, different from this, anything away from this gives you what? Um, gives you zero. So j, j dot k gives you zero i dot k gives you zero k dot um j 
of k dot i, uh, let me say, i dot j, this gives you zero. So anything apart from this gives you zero. All right, see you in the next lesson. If you don't have any questions, in case you have any questions, feel free to contact me using these same lines on the screen. And if you, are, if you want to join uh, online lessons, feel free to also contact me so that we see how we're going to help each other. Okay, so this is the end of tonight's session. See you in the next uh, session that we're going to have. Shalom, shalom.